The International Space Station, an awe-inspiring testament to human achievement, shrouded in a veil of secrecy and intrigue. While it serves as a residence for astronauts and cosmonauts, as well as a unique science laboratory, whispers of unexplained sightings and mysterious visitors continue to circulate. Are we truly alone? Or is there a hidden truth unfolding high above our atmosphere? Floating 250 miles above Earth, the ISS orbits our planet every 90 minutes, reaching incredible speeds of 17,500 miles per hour. It is a symbol of collaboration, yet the station's true purpose remains clouded in mystery. The station's laboratories, contributed by the United States, Russia, Japan and Europe, host critical scientific research. However, numerous reports of unidentified flying objects near the ISS have fueled suspicions that otherworldly beings are keeping a watchful eye on our orbital activities. As rumors of cover-ups and hidden agendas swirl, a recent event has sent ripples through the world of ufology. A colossal, enigmatic object was detected docking with the International Space Station, defying all explanation. Could this be the evidence needed to confirm that we are not alone in the cosmos? And if so, why are those in power so intent on concealing this information? In April 2014, NASA launched four high-definition video cameras, known as HDF or High Definition Earth Viewing Cameras, to the International Space Station on SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. Encased within a protective shell, these cameras found their home on the Columbus Lab, the European Space Agency's colossal module that joined the space station in 2008. Together, these cameras are referred to as the Columbus Eye, with the University of Bonn in Germany overseeing a live streaming website established in collaboration with the German Space Agency. Each camera is strategically placed, with one facing forward, another backward, and the others observing the wake and the nadir. Connected to the space station's computer via data link, the footage is transmitted back to Earth. Yet, these cameras serve more than just a single purpose. NASA utilizes them to examine image degradation caused by cosmic radiation and to assess the resilience of the camera housing when exposed to the harsh conditions of space. Safeguarded within a pressurized and temperature-controlled enclosure, their performance could potentially guide NASA's decision-making process for future mission equipment. However, suspicions arise as NASA is accused of intentionally shutting down these cameras during live streaming, hiding what they don't want the public to witness. Given its unique position as a space agency, NASA undoubtedly encounters unexplained objects of non-terrestrial origin. But does it truly filter the information it shares with the world? Consider a recent incident that left UFO enthusiasts questioning NASA's motives. A video clip displays an enigmatic object entering Earth's atmosphere, only for the live feed from the International Space Station to be suddenly interrupted. The radiant object descends towards Earth, leaving us to wonder what secrets are being concealed from us. In another perplexing incident, a UFO hunter claims to have witnessed 10 UFOs during NASA's live stream from the ISS. The sightings were reported by a man named Jeff, who, while watching the live feed, observed 10 enigmatic objects hovering around the station. Capturing a screenshot as the ISS flew over the South Atlantic, Jeff shared the image with YouTuber Michael, a self-proclaimed full-time Earth watchman who investigates hidden explanations for various phenomena. The screenshots have since gone viral, amassing hundreds of thousands of views. Adding to the list of enigmatic occurrences is the Tehran UFO encounter in 1976. That night, Iranian Air Force pilots were dispatched to investigate a mysterious bright object in Tehran's sky. As they approached, their communication systems and navigational equipment failed, only to regain functionality once they moved away from the UFO. The pilots' testimonies, coupled with ground witness accounts, make this incident one of the most compelling and well-documented UFO cases in history. Another fascinating event that has captivated UFO enthusiasts and researchers alike is the 1994 Zimbabwe Aerial School encounter. In this enigmatic event, 62 children, aged between 6 and 12 years old, witnessed a UFO and its occupants while playing outside during their school break in Rua, Zimbabwe. The children described seeing a silver disc-shaped object descending from the sky and landing in a nearby field. To their amazement, they observed two small humanoid beings, clad in tight-fitting suits, emerging from the craft. According to the children's accounts, these beings had large, black, almond-shaped eyes and communicated with the witnesses telepathically, imparting messages of environmental concern and the need for humanity to change its destructive ways. As the children rushed to inform their teachers of the bizarre encounter, the beings and their craft vanished without a trace. Following the event, 
researchers and psychologists interviewed the young witnesses who consistently maintained their accounts of the incident despite attempts to discredit their story. The aerial school encounter remains one of the most fascinating and mysterious UFO cases involving multiple credible witnesses. These perplexing events, from the ISS live feed anomalies to the Tehran UFO encounter and the Zimbabwe aerial school incident, serve as constant reminders of the enduring enigma surrounding unidentified flying objects. As more and more people continue to question the potential secrets that authorities keep hidden from the public, our fascination with these inexplicable occurrences grows, drawing us further into the labyrinth of the unknown. As we've explored these mysterious incidents, from the ISS live feed anomalies to the Tehran UFO encounter and the Zimbabwe aerial school event, it becomes increasingly clear that the enigma of unidentified flying objects is far from being fully understood. While some may argue that these occurrences are simply misidentified natural phenomena or man-made objects, others firmly believe that they provide evidence of extraterrestrial visitation and a greater reality beyond our comprehension. In December 1980, one of the most famous and well-documented UFO encounters took place in Rendlesham Forest, located near the Royal Air Force, RAF, Bentwaters and Woodbridge military bases in Suffolk, England. Over several nights, both American and British military personnel reported witnessing strange lights and an unidentifiable craft in the forest. On the first night, a team of security personnel led by Staff Sergeant Jim Penniston investigated the sightings, discovering an unknown craft with an unusual triangular shape. According to Penniston, he approached the craft and even touched its surface, feeling mysterious symbols engraved on the exterior. The craft eventually disappeared, leaving indentations in the ground and increased radiation readings in the area. Two nights later, Lieutenant Colonel Charles Holt led a team to investigate the incident further. They too witnessed strange lights in the sky and captured their observations on an audio recording, which later became known as the Holt Tape. Despite the overwhelming amount of evidence, the Ministry of Defense, MOD, determined the sightings posed no threat to national security and did not warrant further investigation. The Rendlesham Forest incident continues to captivate UFO enthusiasts and researchers as the events remain unexplained to this day. On the night of March 13, 1997, thousands of people across Arizona, Nevada and the Mexican state of Sonora witnessed a series of unidentified flying objects in the sky. The event, known as the Phoenix Lights, began with a series of five lights forming a V-shaped formation, which was followed by a group of stationary orbs later in the evening. The V-shaped formation was seen by many witnesses, including Arizona Governor Fife Semington, who initially dismissed the sighting as a prank, but later admitted to witnessing the unexplained phenomenon himself. The stationary orbs were also captured on video, further fueling the mystery surrounding the event. In the early hours of February 25, 1942, a mysterious object was spotted in the skies over Los Angeles, California. This sighting occurred just months after the United States entered World War II, so tensions were high and the military was on high alert. Air raid sirens blared and searchlights swept the sky, focusing on the unidentified object. Military personnel fired over 1,400 rounds of anti-aircraft artillery at the object, but it remained unscathed. The incident, dubbed the Battle of Los Angeles, made headlines, and theories ranged from enemy aircraft to weather balloons. The US government officially dismissed the event as a false alarm due to war nerves, but many UFO enthusiasts believe it was an early encounter with an extraterrestrial craft. In November 2004, the USS Nimitz Carrier Strike Group was conducting training exercises off the coast of Southern California when radar operators detected a mysterious object flying erratically at incredible speeds. Two F-A-18F Super Hornets were dispatched to investigate the object, later described as a 40-foot-long, white, oval-shaped craft with no wings or visible means of propulsion. The pilots engaged in a high-speed chase with the object, which demonstrated advanced maneuverability and acceleration. Eventually, the UFO accelerated away at an unprecedented speed, disappearing from sight. The incident was kept under wraps for over a decade, but in 2017, the US Department of Defense declassified and released a video of the encounter. which has since become one of the most compelling UFO cases involving military personnel. In late December 1978, a series of unexplained lights were seen in the skies above Kaikoura, New Zealand. The lights appeared as bright, pulsating orbs that moved erratically, changing colors and patterns. On December 30th, a television crew aboard a cargo plane managed to capture the mysterious lights on film, 
documenting the phenomenon for the world to see. The Kaikoura lights gained international attention, and various theories were proposed to explain the phenomenon, including atmospheric conditions, squid boat lights, and even Venus. However, none of these explanations fully accounted for the behavior and characteristics of the lights. To this day, the Kaikoura lights remain one of the most famous and puzzling UFO cases in history. In July 1952, a series of UFO sightings occurred over Washington, D.C., creating a sensation in the United States. Over two weekends, radar operators at Washington National Airport and Andrews Air Force Base tracked multiple unidentified objects moving at high speeds and making abrupt turns. At the same time, witnesses on the ground reported seeing strange lights in the sky. The sightings received widespread media coverage, leading to a public demand for answers. In response, the U.S. Air Force held a press conference, attributing the radar returns to temperature inversions causing radar reflections from the ground. However, many UFO researchers and enthusiasts remain skeptical of this explanation and consider the Washington, D.C. UFO incident one of the most significant events in UFO history. In September 1961, Betty and Barney Hill, an American couple, claimed to have been abducted by extraterrestrials while driving through rural New Hampshire. According to their account, they observed a bright light in the sky, which they initially believed to be a falling star. However, the light grew larger and closer, eventually revealing itself as a disc-shaped craft. The Hills reported experiencing a period of missing time during which they were taken aboard the craft, where they encountered humanoid beings who conducted medical examinations on them. Under hypnosis, both Betty and Barney provided consistent and detailed accounts of their experiences. The Betty and Barney Hill abduction case is often considered the first widely publicized alien abduction report and remains one of the most famous and controversial cases in UFO history. From November 1989 to April 1990, Belgium experienced a massive wave of UFO sightings involving thousands of witnesses and multiple reports of triangular-shaped craft. The most famous incident occurred on the night of March 30, 1990, when Belgian Air Force F-16 fighter jets were scrambled to intercept the unidentified objects. Radar operators tracked the objects, which displayed exceptional maneuverability and acceleration capabilities. However, the pilots could not visually confirm or establish contact with the objects. The Belgian Air Force conducted an official investigation, concluding that no satisfactory explanation for the sightings could be determined. In light of recent developments, it seems that the authorities are far from closing the book on UFO investigations. NASA, an organization often at the center of conspiracy theories and UFO debates, has assembled an unprecedented panel of experts to investigate what they now refer to as Unidentified Aerial Phenomena UAPs. This groundbreaking 16-member panel, comprised of experts from fields such as physics and astrobiology, is set to investigate unclassified sightings and information gathered from civilian, government and commercial sectors. Over a nine-month period, the panel will develop its own strategy for organizing and studying these sightings, ultimately recommending a roadmap for potential UAP data analysis moving forward. With their first report scheduled for release in mid-2023, anticipation is growing as people around the world eagerly await the panel's findings. NASA is not alone in their pursuit of understanding UAPs. Numerous government organizations worldwide are also devoting resources to investigating these mysterious phenomena, further emphasizing the importance and global impact of these unexplained occurrences. As we conclude our exploration of UFO incidents and encounters, it's clear that our journey is far from over. With government organizations like NASA actively investigating UAPs, the possibility of uncovering new insights and truths about these enigmatic events is more significant than ever. Let us continue to question, explore, and seek answers, for it is through this pursuit that we may one day unlock the mysteries that have captivated our imaginations for decades. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey into the world of UFOs and UAPs. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel and sharing your thoughts in the comments below. So, what do you think about UFOs? Are they simply the products of our overactive imaginations, or do they provide evidence of otherworldly encounters? Share your thoughts and theories with us in the comments below. Together, let's continue to explore the mysteries that surround us and venture deeper into the uncharted realms of the unknown.